Hey, I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center, and we're going to chat a little bit today about insulin. Um, insulin basically helps uh, put sugar into the cell, uh, other things as well. So um, it, it, gets a, it gets a bad name, and, and uh, rightfully so at times. It's got some uh, positive things, but we'll start to see insulin bouncing around and causing problems for people today just because we take in so many refined carbohydrates. Right, so you know, even I'll talk about patients. We'll talk about you know, it's not just you know chips and pop, but you know, bread, pasta, potatoes, rice. These things again start to bounce around our blood sugars and they go up and down. And you don't have to be a diabetic. You can have insulin spikes because it's having a difficult time dealing with all the sugars that are coming into the body. So we've got to be uh, cognizant and aware of that and understand that insulin is very inflammatory and it decreases the communication between every single cell in your body and that's why it's such a big problem when it causes an inflammatory process to happen because that's what the inflammation does. So we've got to be very, very aware of that and make sure we're starting to balance out. We have breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner, we're not kind of uh, skipping meals. If you're going more than three hours without eating, you again start to m cause problems for your adrenal glands which we talked about in another video and then it starts causing problems for that insulin in the pancreas trying to pump out you know, uh, insulin appropriate when things are kind of bouncing around for you. We'll see insulin spikes in women and when we see that, well sometimes we'll see them uh, converting you know, some of their hormones into other hormones that they may not like, maybe estrogen into testosterone and we'll start to see things like polycystic ovary syndrome happen, you know, PCOS. So we would want to get back to, okay, addressing the fact that maybe I start, need to start looking at my blood sugars. And we even see sometimes now uh, medication where they'll be using medication for uh, diabetes, uh, really for the polycystic ovary syndrome, even though they don't have diabetes because it helps with the insulin. And men are the opposite. It'll actually take your testosterone and shift it into estrogen. So we see a lot of the low T centers coming up now. So we start wanting to look from a functional standpoint. Is it really that I have a hormone problem or is it actually that I've got a problem with my insulin? And again, insulin can start breaking down the body, causing those inflammatory processes. And then inflammation is basically in every single uh, disease known to man. So anything we can do to balance out and get inflammation down, that's a good thing. And again, addressing insulin and making sure that we're uh, cognizant of that uh, is important. And so there's different types of testing that we might want to do. And you can do you know, insulin, blood insulin testing to see uh, six hour or four hour glucose tolerance test is actually the best thing to do. But uh, there's things we can do. There's things we can do in the office to check that out. But we got to be actually watching what's going on with insulin. A nice little tidbit for all those uh, people who work out there. Insulin actually will pump in other things into the cell, which are really good for you. So if you're going to work out and cheat, on something, you would want to do that about 30 minutes after you've uh, actually worked out a hard exercise, get the heart rate up and actually get some sweat going. That's the opportunity to cheat. Use insulin to your benefit, get it up, it'll actually decrease some of the other things that will hurt your body and break your body down and it dampen that and it'll actually pump in some good things into the cell, uh, not just sugar. So that might be one time that you want to use and say insulin's a good guy. But most of the time, we want to make sure he's uh, balanced because he can cause a lot of problems for us. So I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center, and we hope to see you in.